What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So you saw the title of this video and you're probably wondering what I'm about to talk about. You probably think I'm a heretic already, but let me explain exactly what I mean by this. One of the main things that the church is being lied to today about is the fact that as a Christian, you're always going to struggle with sin. Now obviously we have a flesh that actively wars against us, but this idea is not scriptural at all. In fact, in Romans 3.23 it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But notice how the sinned is being used in past tense here. Because when you read 2 Corinthians 5.21, it talks about how Jesus Christ makes us the righteousness of God if we place our faith in him. So many people often are speaking word curses over themselves, calling themselves sinners, when the word of God says if you place your faith in Jesus Christ, then you are made righteous. Now many people believe that that as a believer you are always going to deal with sin and that you are always going to sin no matter what. But this is also contradictory to the scriptures as well. In John 8 11, after Jesus talks to the woman who was caught in adultery, he tells her afterwards, go and sin no more. Also, if you look at John 5 14, when Jesus heals the man by the pool, he tells the man a very similar thing where he says, sin no more, then nothing worse may happen to you. So this life that God has called us to live is a life free from sin. However, bad theology has crept into the church and convinced Christians that they constantly need to look at themselves as sinners. This is not the lifestyle that God wants you to embrace, and this is not the mindset that Jesus wants you to have, considering he died a brutal and excruciating death to set you free from sin, not you identifying as a sinner your entire life. The reason why most Christians struggle with sin is because they actually don't know their identity in Jesus Christ. But when you read 1 Peter 2 9, it talks about how we are a chosen race and a royal priesthood. And if we're sons and daughters of God, that means we're sons and daughters of the king of the world. And if we are in that king's family, then that makes us us royalty as well. But a lot of Christians don't realize this. They view themselves in a very demeaning way, professing work curses over themselves by calling themselves sinners and fools. But this is not the life that God has intended you to have, and this is not the mindset that he wants you to have either. Now, many Christians still do struggle with sin nonetheless, but this is also not the place where God wants you to be. Now, myself, I have a flesh and I deal with things of the flesh, but I never actively struggle with sin. I know this is a bold statement to make, and I'm not making this out of pride. I'm making this because I'm trying to show you a different perspective in how God God has called us to live. You see, when you know your identity in Jesus Christ, when you have a relationship with God, when you're truly in love with God, you should be so focused on loving God and wanting to please God that sin should be disgusting to you. The reason why I don't actively struggle with it is because why would I actively struggle with wanting to eat my own vomit when I have a steakhouse dinner, which is loving Jesus Christ and abiding by his commands. This video is very key for anybody who has been in habitual sin cycles or maybe they're struggling with a certain sin. And the reason why sometimes you may be struggling with that is because you actually actually need deliverance. There's a lot of Christians who don't believe that you can have a demon, but I know a lot of brothers and sisters in Christ who struggle with habitual sin cycles and they've never received deliverance, yet they're constantly disgusted with this cycle that they're in. If they're disgusted with that cycle that they're in, that means that they don't actually desire it and something else takes over. And maybe that could be you. Maybe you need to seek deliverance. Because I know the value that God sees in me and I know how valuable God is himself, it doesn't make me want to do anything less than that value that God has already bestowed upon me. So by me returning to sin, by me living in iniquity, that would be contrary to the value that I see in myself. The reality is we are called to live a life of liberty and not a life of bondage. And unfortunately, not a lot of Christians know this. Now, if you do fall into sin, the Bible says that there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So just get back up and keep it pushing. But as a Christian, you should never be in a state where you are struggling with sin. Because if you're struggling with sin, you've lost the plot of what God has called us to do here on earth. We're not here to be bound and in chains to sin. We're here to preach the kingdom of God and make disciples of all nations, heal the sick, and cast out demons. Don't let the devil tell you that you're worth anything less than what God has already called you in his word. Our citizenship is in heaven, and although we are not of this world, we have dominion over this world, including the sin that this world has to offer. It's all about your perspective. We need to understand that if we're already seated in heavenly places, we need to be acting like it. We need to have that same mindset that we are actually royalty according to God's word. And a royal king or prince never views himself as a peasant. He views himself as royalty because that's the position that he's been appointed to. God has appointed you to royalty, not to peasantry. So stop living this life thinking that you're always going to be a sinner and you're always going to struggle with sin. You can have liberty in Jesus Christ, joy in Jesus Christ, and abundance. And you don't need to live in sin to do that. And just because you follow Jesus doesn't mean your life has to
to be miserable either. Just because I don't live in sin doesn't mean that I'm miserable. I actually have more happiness and peace because the fruit that sin produces is depression, anxiety, the worst types of things you could deal with. That's what it produces at the end. If you guys want to financially sow into the ministry, I have an offering link in the description or I have merch that I drop, which is also linked in the description. With that being said, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Thank you.